All right, let's see uh, if there are some differences if we care for a child versus an adult. Again, I want you to listen. Uh, many of you are in the babysitting mode, that type of thing. So I want you to really be able to hear the differences in this kind of situation. So here we go. Most kids get cuts and scrapes once in a while. Knowing how to care for these minor wounds will let them get back to playing quickly. But keep in mind, blood can be frightening to kids. While providing care, talk to the child and make her feel more comfortable. Here we go. Begin by covering the wound with a sterile gauze pad and applying direct pressure until the bleeding stops. Being such a brave little girl. Looks like the blood is still coming through. I'm going to get another dressing for you. I want you to replace my hand on the count of three, okay? You ready? One, two, three. Okay. Good girl. So I'm going to put this back on. One, two, three. There we go. There if we go. blood soaks through the first gauze We're pad, put another We're one on top yes, and press are. harder to apply more Good direct job. pressure. Good job. It may take several minutes for bleeding to stop. One, Do not two, remove three. any gauze pads. If the bleeding does not stop, call 911 if you have not already done so. Continue to care for the person and monitor for shock. Once bleeding is controlled, check for circulation beyond the injury. Note the temperature and color of the skin and ask the person if there is any tingling or numbness. Any tingling or numbness, honey? No. You sure? Yeah. Okay, we're almost done. <laughs> Okay, you hold on to that and I'll be right back. So we're going to put a bandage on. So I want you to move your arm. Your hand up Place the end of the bandage on the dressing at a 45 degree angle. Put your finger right there for mm -hmm. me. Thank you. You're going to place your finger now. Continue wrapping the bandage over the dressing. <laughs> almost done. You're almost done. Once the dressing is covered, roll out the remaining length of bandage. While holding the bandage, use the index finger of the other hand to split the bandage in half, moving it down and underneath the limb. We're Bring up the two done. ends of the bandage and tie them in a bow done. or a knot. Hang in there. Hang in there. Check again so for circulation, circulation beyond right? the injury. If there is any change, the bandage may be too tight, and you will need to carefully loosen the bandage. Any tingling or numbness? After the bandage is appropriately applied, remove your gloves and wash your hands. So you can see just the main difference there is the conversation. And this is a, this is a big deal in first aid care is your ability to calm the situation. And, and for some of you, you're going to be really nervous. Some of you aren't real comfortable with blood. Um, I remember the first time I saw uh, crazy blood. Um, it was definitely scary, different. Um, so you got to be, you got to take a deep breath every now and then. You got to be able to to control your nerves. Remember too, if it's somebody that is in your family, it's obviously even more a little bit scary for you, especially if it's severe. So uh, those are all things that you kind of got to be ready for. Um, hopefully, you never have to deal with them, but. If you do, take a deep breath. I know you'll be fine, and uh, you should be good to go. So, uh, again, similar to the adult, just slight changes for the child. Here we go.